more and more apps allow you to sign up using third-party services. Bravo, for example, allows that too. You have the option to either make a Bravo account or you can choose an existing like Google, for example. In this video, I will show you how you can achieve exactly the same. So allow your users to sign up or log in using their preferred provider. You'll be able to allow access using Facebook, Google, and so much more. So let's jump right into it. Implementing the social login feature consists of three parts. First, we're going to have a look at the Figma file. So how do we set up the login screen for our app? Secondly, I will show you how you can set up an Auth0 account. This is the provider we're going to be using to authenticate our users. The last step will be connecting Auth0 to our app inside of Bravo Studio. This is the Figma file for our sample app. And as always, you'll find a link in the description where you can duplicate it. But of course, you'll be able to use everything you'll learn in this tutorial in your Adobe XD file as well. As you can see, this file consists of four different pages. We have an intro screen, then the login page, which is going to be the most interesting for this tutorial, as well as a list and detail page just to indicate what could happen after the user logs in. You can find specific tutorials on the list and detail page as well as the intro screen on our channel. I'm going to focus on the login screen for now. In the top level frame of the login page, you have the tag page login. This tag is used to tell Bravo, okay, here's a screen that we need to display before the user can even enter the app. And only if they authenticate on that page, we'll let them through. To sign in, the user is presented three different options. So we have a button for Facebook, Google, and Apple. All of these buttons will lead to Auth0, which we're going to have a look at later. When we have a more detailed look at these buttons, you can see that all of them have an action tag. Action is followed by the keyword login and then the provider. You might already recognize this tag from authenticating users using Firebase. There we have the same tag, action login followed by Firebase email and password. Inside of this frame with the tag, you can see that we have multiple elements. This means that you can design the button as you like. Just make sure that at the end you give the whole thing the correct tag. If you want to add a button for a provider that I'm not covering in this tutorial, check out Bravo's documentation. In here you can see that the last part of the tag consists of the name we get from Auth0. We can check that out in a bit. This page is linked in the description as well of course. With the design file fully set up, it's now time to look at our authentication provider. We're going to start by creating an Auth0 account. For that, head over to auth0.com and sign up. During the sign up process, they'll ask you a couple of questions, but nothing to worry about. If you're not inside of the US, make sure to check this box, which allows you to change the data region. Since I'm in the EU, I'm going to switch to EU. Now that we have successfully logged into Auth0, it's time to create a new application. To do that, go to the menu on the left here, check applications and click on applications. Here you will see all of the applications that you have connected to the account. There is already a default app, but we're going to create our own. When creating an application, choose a useful name and then select regular web applications. You can completely ignore the quick start and head right to settings. Here under basic information, we'll find three very important things. The domain, the client ID and the client secret. We'll be asked to enter those into Bravo in a bit, so keep that page open. But first, we're going to scroll down to the section Allowed Callback URLs. In here, we're going to paste the URLs that we find in Bravo's documentation. I have now opened the documentation right next to Auth0. Remember, the link is in the description. We can directly copy the first two URLs, separate them using a comma. So we have the page link, then comma, and I'm going to paste the second link then a comma again. We have to put together the third URL ourselves. I'm going to select it again and copy it into this input field. But as you can see, we have your app ID in here. And this will be replaced with the app ID we get from Bravo Studio. So how do we get the app ID? The app ID is hidden inside of the URL you see when opening a project. So in this case, this would be our app ID. If you haven't imported your Figma file yet, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Head over to Apps and click Create New. Here you can paste the Figma link. To get the Figma link, go back to the file that we had a look at in the beginning. I'm here in the Figma desktop version, so I can't see the URL right away. I have to right click on the name and then click Copy Link. We're going to copy that link inside of this Figma input field here and click Connect Figma File. 
Now the Figma file is loaded into Brava Studio, importing the Figma file created a new project for us, which means that we now also have a project ID. Go to the URL and select everything between apps and screens. Make sure that you don't get a slash by accident. I'm going to copy the ID and now switch over to Auth0 again. Inside here, we can replace your app ID with our actual app ID. Again, make sure that you don't miss anything. So select the whole thing and then replace it. Your URL should now look like this. A small a followed by your app ID. After you've entered those three URLs, make sure that you don't forget to save. For that, scroll down to the bottom of the page and hit save changes. Now it's time to set up all of the authentication providers that you want to allow your users to authenticate with. For that, head over to authentication here in the menu and select social. Here you can see all of the third parties that are already connected with your app. Since Google is already in here, let's create something for Facebook. To do that, click on create connection. This loads up a huge amount of connections that you could make. Be aware that all of these connections might have a slightly different setup. When you click on one of these options, a guide is shown, which you can follow easily. In the case of Facebook, for example, we first have to grant access to Facebook and then fill out some information. Here you could check, for example, which user data you want to access. In my case, I'm going to choose public profile as well as the email. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and hit create. Don't forget to activate the connection for the app you're currently working on. So in my case, the login example. This is the setup process that you have to go through for every provider that you want to add to your app. Be aware that some of these connections might have some additional steps as soon as you want to publish your app. For Facebook, for example, you have to have a Facebook developer account in order for this to keep working. You can find more information on that on the website of the provider that you're trying to implement. Facebook and Google are now set up and active on my app. Since in my design file I also had Apple, let's have a look at that connection as well. So we're going to create a new connection and this time we're going to select Apple here. Again, we have to grant access. We're going to get the attributes of the name as well as the email address. Now hit create. And the last step will be activating Apple for our login example. We have successfully set up Auth0, so now it's time to connect it to Brava Studio. For that, go back to your Brava Studio project and then click Settings. In here, under Login, you can see that you can authenticate users either through Firebase or OAuth. Since Auth0 is using OAuth, we're going to enable that one. For the provider, we're going to click on the dropdown and select Auth0. Now we have three new input fields and you might remember those from the second part of this video. To get that information, head over to Auth0. Inside of Auth0, I'm going back to the applications and then selecting the application I'm currently working on. In my case, that was login example. When you click on it, you're back on the page of the basic information. Now, all you have to do is copy the information from here over to Brava Studio. To do that quickly, just hit the copy button and paste that into Brava Studio's input fields. We're going to do that two more times. And now we have all the information ready in Brava Studio. This is the final step, hit save. When you see this notification, everything has worked and it's now time to test it in Bravo Vision. I have opened the app in Bravo Vision now and as expected, the first screen shown is the intro screen because the intro screen always goes before the login screen. When I click on start now, I'm directed to the login screen. In here, we should be able to click on any of these buttons and get directed to Auth0. I'm going to test that using Google. As you can see, the Google login has opened and it's directing you to Auth0.com. In this step, you already know that you have configured Auth0 correctly. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to log in using my Google account. I've now entered my credentials and when I click on next, we should be directed back to our app. And as you can see, that worked. We're now on the list page. Inside of the app, you can do all kinds of stuff with the user information. Once the user is logged in and authenticated, you can save data associated with that user or just display certain things. We have separate videos on that on our channel already. And since there's just so much you can do, there will be more following. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I hope this video has helped you set up all zero for your app and allow your users to log in using their favorite authentication provider. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for a new episode of Build It With Jonas every other Tuesday. Bye.